What's going on guys? Rand Knows Tech here from techinform.us and today we're going to look at iOS 4.2 beta for iPad. This has been an update for the iPad that uh, we've all been excited about since uh, the iPad's release in April of 2010. iOS 4.2 is going to bring all the features that we saw with iOS 4.0 on the iPhone and iPod Touch. So it's a pretty exciting update. We're going to go over uh, what this looks like, how it feels, and what it's going to bring to the table in terms of uh, upgrading iOS 3.2. I believe it's 3.2.3, um, maybe by that time 3.2.3, um, to make it a better device. So the first thing, um, the biggest thing, we're going to dive right into it, and that would be multitasking. We saw it on the iPhone. We love it, at least I do. Um, it, well, it's, it's multitasking. It's running applications in the background. For example, if I open up settings, I just did a reboot now, so I think everything is, nope, still some stuff open. Um, there's settings. Now if we double tap the home button, just like on the iPhone, we can click photos. And it will multitask over to photos. There you go. You can see me there. So here's uh, all the photos I have on here. Double click again. If I did that right, and then we could go right back to settings. Uh, and, and then just like on the iPhone, touch and hold, and then you can go through and, uh, and close the ones that you don't want open to save some memory. So multitasking seems to work really seamlessly. I have not run into any applications um, that do not work with multitasking. Then again, I haven't used all that many uh, with multitasking yet. Um, as far as Apple stock applications, I haven't seen any changes. I can't say I've gone through them all, and I can't say I'd even notice uh, if they did make some changes in some applications like calendar and contacts I rarely use. The next update is folders. Uh, just like on the iPhone 4 with iOS 4, you can now organize applications by folders. And instead of being limited to 12, this is the maximum size of a folder. It's a 4 by 5, so you can fit 20 different um, programs in one folder, and you can have a crap load of folders. As you can see, I have about... Uh, we'll find out how many applications I uh, currently have right now. I have 89 applications, and they all fit in uh, five, six, seven folders. And they're not all full. As you can see, that one only has about six in it. So I really like multitasking, and I really like folders. Those are definitely great upgrades. It all works the same. Uh, touch and hold. You can open it up and then drag some stuff around, just like an iPhone. The next update is AirPrint. I haven't had a chance to use this yet. I really wanted to before I made the video, but I had a whole bunch of requests to put this video up, so I'm going to. Um, I'm sure it works. It's unlike Apple to release something that doesn't work. So we'll go to Google here. My printer's not on upstairs. But you can print web pages now wirelessly. Um, mail, photos, web pages, and more directly to a printer on a wireless network. That's what it says on Apple.com. So um, I would imagine that with Pages and the final release, you can open up Pages, type something, and then send it to your printer wirelessly. But you do that in Safari. There's a little button up there. And then now it says Print at the bottom. It's going to search for a wireless printer. Mine is not on. It's not going to find it. It takes a couple seconds to find it uh, when it is on. And then you can print it straight there, adjust your copies and other information in there. So that's definitely nice. Uh, AirPlay is another feature. I don't have any movies on here, but if I did, I could go into Videos and I could use AirPlay to play the video to uh, wirelessly, which is great. It's going to work on music, photos, and uh, videos to a Apple TV or AirPlay speakers or receivers, including an Airport Express. So that's going to be really cool to be able to, uh, to stream content like that wirelessly throughout your home as that technology and, and, uh, enhances. Here's Game Center. I don't think I've set it up on here yet, but I do have a Game Center ID. If you'd like to follow or friend me or whatever it is, search for Ryan Knows Tech, and you should find it there. Um, Game Center, it's not super big yet, but I'm uh, guessing that it will be soon now that it's been rolled out for iPhone and iPod Touch and, and iOS 4 in November. That's when Apple's saying this is going to be released. But uh, I guess you can play people online and see scores and stats and, and compare and stuff like that. that. So that should be interesting. Email. I'm not going to open up my email due to identity. I have like 15 email accounts, but it's the same deal as the iPhone and iPod Touch with iOS 4. Uh, you can have the unified inbox instead of have to, having to go back to mail and select your inbox and, and do it manually, and I really like that. It seems to be a very seamless experience. You can find text on web pages. Um, not 100% sure how to do that. looks like it says, in Safari, easily find and highlight specific words and phrases on large web pages. So better indexing, better uh, looking up text and stuff online, so that's always nice. Uh, enhanced enterprise support, they said that with the iPhone. Accessibility enhancements. Um, 
Braille, uh, wireless Bluetooth stuff, more than 25 languages. Little updates like that. New languages, yeah, it looks like Arabic, Greek, and Hebrew. Tweak the dictionaries on there. So, more updates. It doesn't seem any faster. It does, definitely doesn't seem any slower. Everything works. Um, I enjoy having the beta. Works great. Um, so, I, it's, it's going to be a good update. I'm pretty sure it's going to be free. Again, that's going to be in November of this year. Uh, available for the iPad. And it will come to the iPod Touch and iPhone too to bring printing and all these other features that we talked about. But anyways, folders and multitasking are the big two. They're quick. Uh, again, swipe left, and here are your controls to lock the screen portrait, which you can do on the outside switch, but now there's an on-screen one. Go back to your iPod application, change your music, play, forward track, back a track. This is no longer volume on iOS 4.2. This is your screen brightness. And uh, believe it or not, I kind of like that. Because if, if I open up an application and... I turn the lights off or something, it's really bright, I don't want to have to quit, now I can just double tap, swip, swip, swipe, left, and, uh, and change it right there, so that's nice. Anyways, iOS 4.2 for iPad, it's a winner, looks great, um, I still wish they would do home screen um, widgets and stuff here, that'd just be cool, there's so much wasted space. But, that's it, iOS 4.4, 4, 4, 4, 4. not yet. The iOS 4.2 for iPad uh, looks really good. Check out our site, techinform.us. My Twitter is twitter.com slash jamesrschultz. And be sure to catch us live on Tuesday nights from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Time on ustream.tv slash techinformus. See you guys in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe if you haven't. Bye-bye.